In back segment tonight, Hillary Clinton testifying again this week about the assassination of the American ambassador to Libya, Christopher Stevens, and the murders of three other Americans in Benghazi on September 11th, 2012. That situation happened on Secretary of State Clinton's watch and has bedeviled her ever since. As Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has been reporting, Ambassador Stevens cabled the State Department on July 9th asking for additional security. He did not get it. That is the crux of the matter and what should be the focus of Mrs. Clinton's testimony on Thursday. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News senior political analyst Britt Hume. So do I have it right, Britt? You, you do have it right, Bill, and I think the uh, security question, you know, what, what, did, what was she asked, Secretary Clinton, and by whom and when and how many times before this attack will be central to the questioning. Um, the, qu uh, the other question, of course, is how effective will this hearing be uh, in dealing with her? And I would simply say from long years of covering Washington that big, hyped congressional hearings rarely live up to their billing, and especially one in which the two sides of the committee, the two parties within the committee are so divided uh, as they are here. Okay, but Mrs. Clinton has already put forth her answer. It was the responsibility of the quote-unquote security people of the State Department that I don't know whether she's on a record that I don't think she's on a record of saying I didn't know about Ambassador Stevens's cable that's the key did you know about this cable um, first question here it is July 9th read the cable did you know about it yes or no she's under oath start there stair step up but as you said I don't know whether these Congress people are astute enough to keep it simple get her locked down did you know if you did why wasn't security granted to the ambassador that's that's what this is all about right and i would also add bill that the task is complicated by the fact that in the standard format of a congressional hearing um, the majority party gets to start and if it's the chairman he may take a little while for his first round of questions and then after that it ping pongs back and yeah, forth between the two sides. But the, the Democrats don't want to know anything so you well, can't know, assume they're going to ask well, very much. Well they will ask questions designed to elicit information helpful to her if they can. But what happens is you get, you know, you get a train of thought going on a line of questioning and then boom the time runs out it goes over to the other side and the, somebody chimes in on her behalf uh, then it gets back to the other side and the new congressman starts and, and he, he or she goes off on another line of questioning. So there's a scattershot quality to these things which favors a witness, particularly if the witness is, if you will, a suspect in the case, as is true here. So it's, and she's good at this. She, she's, she's able. She's an able advocate, as we saw in the debate last week. All right, well, you, I want you to be Hillary Clinton right now, okay? Or Kate McKinnon. You, you chick. <laughs> All right, so I'm the congressman. <clears throat> Madam Secretary. Did you see the cable that Ambassador Stevens sent on July 9th? And if you did not see it, were you told about it? Well, all I can say is that I've seen it since, and I just don't recall whether I saw it at the time. Um, but I was generally aware that there was a question about security there. But it was the, the thing is, you see, sir, is that uh, it really boiled down to not the number of people there, but under whose command they would be. Uh, well, wait, uh, but let me interrupt you for a moment. The ambassador to Libya, who you knew, appeals for security, extra security for he and his team to travel around the country. It was not provided. Isn't it your job to provide it? What difference at this point does it make? Right. You see, now, I, I, do I have to get elected to Congress to ask these questions? Look, I know most of the committee members are watching us right now. Write that down. That's the crux of the matter. That's it. Don't ask anything else. Well, it's hard to believe that when all is said and done here, there won't be some questions about the email controversy. Which Let is, that you know, go at the end, though. Well, the email thing is at the end. Get yeah, established I, whether the woman knew about the cable, and if she did, why she didn't provide the security. Well, That's there's, it. An additional, there's an additional fact here, too, Bill, which is that the secretary has some statutory responsibility for the security within those embassies. So if she didn't know, it's a good question why she didn't know. And, and who did she fire? The, right, who and, did she yeah, fire right. that yeah, she didn't she, know? Who, yeah, who should have told her? Oh. Yeah, that's, all, that's all a piece of it.
Give me that committee and I want it. <laughs> Not that I have an axe to grind. I don't. I just want the truth. Real quick, Joe Biden in or out this week? I don't know, Bill. Great, Britt. You Thanks. Me, for, and we're paying you. We're paying you, right? We're paying you salary? <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know. Like to do, I don't do predictions. Okay. No Karnak. <laughs> the Magnificent for Britt Hume. <laughs> Directly ahead, six-year-old boy shoots his three-year-old brother dead in Chicago. Awful situation. Well, where do you hear why it happened? Then the legacy of Ronald Reagan. What politicians have to know in the upcoming presidential election. Moments away.